Tony Perkins. Each year at this dinner, the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame honors an outstanding amateur coach with our Legends Award. This year we honor Tony Perkins. Tony was a multi-sport athlete in high school and started coaching young athletes in high school. He's been doing that for 34 years, 30 of those years at Francis Howell School District where he coached football, basketball, and baseball. At Francis Howell, his baseball teams won 17 conference titles, 14 district championships, 11 final fours, and four state championships, 2003, 2011, 2014, and 2016. His all-time coaching record, 518 victories. He's been named the Missouri Coach of the Year four times, and last year, the American Baseball Coaches Association National Coach of the Year. He's in numerous halls of fame, and now the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Tonight, we honor Tony Perkins with our Legends Award. Yeah, what you think? let's work with that cork ball. Tony, you have the great honor of being the final enshrinee of the night. And uh, I have just a couple of important questions for you as we wrap up tonight. You know, everybody that we saw tonight, whether they're involved in sports as a player, coach, or at some level, has been involved in youth sports. And I know that it has been a big part of your life. We, we went through the statistics, the conference championships, the district titles, the final fours, the state championships. But I'll bet that you could rack up in your mind a number of wins that we never did get to see, but that you saw a player grow and become not only a great athlete, but a great person. Oh, no doubt. We had, even like our 2003 team that went to, we won state, we had no business being there. I'm starting six sophomores and, you know, we, we can't hit, but we can bunt real good. So we just scrapped our way and won right there. Um, it's just rewarding to be able to work with so many different kids and watch them grow. And, you know, they go up and they get, get married and they come back and they, you know, come see me and invite me to the weddings. That's just a great thing. If you saw a kid that you knew had the potential and Mike Martz talked about unlocking that potential within them, how did you do that? Well, you just got to be open with them and be honest with them. Um, in baseball, in the high school season, it's such a short season. If the kid's not producing, I mean, the next guy's in and, and they know that and they know that ahead of time. Well, I'm pretty fortunate that uh, we have a lot of good baseball. It's a baseball school. And the kids know that, and they work very hard year-round. And I hate to be, you know, so many sports are now becoming specialized. I'm, I'm not that guy. I mean, I, want, I encourage all of our kids to play as many sports as they possibly can. You know, my wife and I, Tracy's over there, and uh, we have four sons. And, you know, two of them, one of them played uh, three sports for four years, and the other three played two sports for, you know, and three sports for the first couple of years. So... I encourage those guys to do those kinds of things. In the program, it says, married 25 years to his understanding and supportive wife, Tracy. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Tell us about Tracy well, and what, what she's meant to you. Oh, she's a hammer at home. I mean, she keeps everything on task. Um, all coaches' wives, I think, are, have to be saints because all the time is we spend away from them and all the time that we put into our crafts and in our sports and stuff and you know to be able to come home to a dinner and maybe sit down and get some normal part of your life going it sure is helpful and she's fantastic with that you played football and baseball you coached football basketball and baseball what has baseball meant to you why has baseball been the one that that stuck with you through these years oh, it's just the sport that it's just the one that I've loved I mean uh, I just retired teaching after 33 years and I got a job down at CNH, Paul Park in St. Charles. I'm dragging fields and mowing the grass and doing that kind of stuff. Just, <laughs> it's just in my blood, and, yeah. uh, and I love it. My, all, all, last year, Tracy and I had all four of our sons were playing baseball in college, so they all got scholarships there, and, wow. and uh, it's just part of our lives. Congratulations on being the recipient of the Metro Legends Award tonight, and thank you for being part of tonight. Congratulations. Right. Thank you, sir.